Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my December Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to be documenting this 4x8 photo of my morning view every morning, my routine starts, and I wanted to take a photo of something that reminds me of my daily routine. So what I decided to do was trim out these little labels, part of the pattern on the Traveler's Notebook, and back it up with my 4x8 photo. I've shared with you guys before how I always trim out labels in my traveler's notebook and add little mini photos behind it, but this time around I wanted to back it up with a 4x8 photo. I've done this before and I really love how it turned out, so I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to do this again and go ahead and trim them out. I am using, I believe this knife was from Spellbinders. It is one of my favorites. It's so smooth, so easy to use. And the grip is perfect, so if you are interested, I will link it down in the description box. But once I trim out my last one, I'm going to leave the yellow box white because I wanted to add the date and I wanted to add like a little stamping. So I kept that box and that way, you know, you can still see the photo. And I really didn't feel like you had to see the full sky, so I went ahead and trimmed off the top part of the sky. That way my photo is going more towards the top labels that I trimmed out, if that makes sense. But once I feel like it looks good, I'm going to go ahead and stick down my photo, make sure that everything fits nicely, my boxes are filled out with the photo, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick down the pattern paper as well. And by the way, to make sure that this sticks down properly and doesn't go anywhere, I am using my scrapbook.com tape. This is the permanent tape and it's much stronger than the one I usually use. I got the stamp set from Studio Calco and I believe it's called the Routine Stamp Set. And obviously, because I'm documenting my routine, I thought it would work perfectly. So what I decided to do was stamp uh, living my best life using that stamp set in my yellow label, the one I didn't trim out. I thought it would be cool to use my mega date stamp to stamp out the date. But when I was stamping it down, my hand moved. I felt it. I knew I was not stamping it in the right spot and it looked horrible and it, <laughs> it got under my skin. But anyways, I'm going to fix it. I decided to stamp it again on some white cardstock. And because it was off and it hit the yellow side of my label, I'm going to have to go through my little kit again, my Traveler's Notebook kit, and use one of the blue labels just to kind of offset it a little bit and be able to cover my boo-boo. It wasn't the perfect way to cover this up, but honestly, it's not a big deal. I don't even think you can notice it, only just because you saw me do it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to grab that label, cover up my boo-boo, and then add my date properly inside my label. Now I'm going to grab that stamp set again and one of those stamps says 24 7. So what I'm going to do is stamp it uh, at the top of my spread because I knew I wanted to add some journaling. I wanted to add like my daily routine morning, afternoon and evening. So I needed some space. So adding the 24 7 at the top, I want to bring in some color and yellow is my choice because of that larger label on the opposite side. So I'm going to stamp today is going to be a great day on the yellow label or uh, yellow sticker label that came in the kit and add that right underneath 24 seven. And this really helped bring in some of the yellow from the opposite side and brighten up the side of my spread. Now I'm going to grab some white cardstock, add some journaling. I typed out my morning, afternoon and evening routine. What I wanted to do was use the stamp set. It had three stamps with the morning, afternoon, and evening. And I thought it would look pretty cool if I just stamped morning above my morning routine, etc., etc., afternoon, evening, all that good stuff, um, and have them in those boxes. That way, when I look back, I have a photo of my morning view and I have my journaling reminding me of what our routine was at the moment in the month of December. So I just really like the simplicity of this. You really do not have to add 
all the photos in the world to represent your routine. You can start with a basic photo, your morning, your evening photo, um, what you always see every day, and kind of add your journaling based on that, if that makes sense. So definitely keeping it simple makes a lot of more sense and it's easier to kind of document all the time in your traveler's notebook. At this point, I'm thinking I just need a little something to add to my photo. So what I'm going to do is grab the stamp set again and stamp out this little circle that said like repeat daily, something like that, and a little clock in the center. I'm going to punch it out with my circle punch and add it to my photo just to add a little something to the right side of my spread. I'm going to finish up my spread by adding some star yellow stickers to my title or around my title and those stickers came in the traveler's notebook kit and then i believe i call my layout done don't forget i add all the links for everything i use down in the description box for you guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and i hope to see you guys very soon bye